Okay, so apologize for the lighting. It's not the greatest, and having lighting from underneath you is not the most flattering, but for me, it's more important to execute and produce content even when it's not optimal than to not do it at all. So today we're gonna to be talking about the market. Surprise. Um, this is mainly pertaining to new people that are investing and just giving overall advice and also talking a little bit about the market itself and individuals that in individual trades that I've taken. To begin with, I just want to set an expectation for new traders out there. I've been trading for about three and a half years, properly trading for like three to two and a half years. And uh, the reason why I make that distinction is because a lot of people enter the market with no experience, kind of like me, and they're just kind of branching out and trying to figure out what the market even is, which was definitely the case, that, uh, definitely the experience that I went through. Um, I didn't really know anybody that, invest, that invested. My dad was not too savvy in the financial sector, and I just came across it on YouTube. Um, I think there's like an entrepreneurial boom starting in 2016, and you know, Ty Lopez was my garage. the wave. And I think he, he kind of mentioned stocks, and also my, my friend talked about stocks a lot, and I was like, oh wow, there's a way to make money on the internet? Like, I wanna do that. Um, so when I started on this journey, I was overtly excited and had high, high expectations. I would trade on Investopedia, the fake money, and I'd make some profits, and then I'd get way too hyped up, and my expectations were just so high. I managed to convince my dad to loan me some capital in order to trade, and that's when the real learning started. They were, I think the, the, the naivete of the new investor uh, loans itself pretty well, because typically the market has an upward trend, and uh, I'll talk about that in the future. So buying stocks randomly can yield profit. It's like a 50-50 chance. So if you just buy a stock and you don't even know what the hell you're doing, there's a probability that you'll make money. And that's definitely the case for me. I didn't have any risk management. I didn't know what a stop loss was. I didn't know what types of different orders there were, or position sizing. And those are really important things that I eventually learned down the line. So if you recall the market in 2016, that's when everything was booming. So making money was simple, was a little bit easier. So I'd make money and I didn't know, I didn't know, wouldn't even know why. And that doesn't loan itself well to later on in the market because when you hit volatile times and like rough downturns like in 2018 with the trade war and you know I think there was a period of time in 2019 that also hit a massive like downturn and volatility. I think it was also related to trade war stuff and then now the coronavirus I just got chopped up and man my PL was horrible. I was down so much money and you know the first time I was down a considerable amount I like I just went into shock, I just froze. Um, I was like, man, like, what am I doing this for? Like, why am I doing this? Like, this is my dad's money. Why would I even think that I could, I'm worthy towards the market? And I just wrote him a long essay and I was like, yo, I will make it up to you, I'll make it back. And that was my first real experience in the market and understanding what it's like to take a loss. <laughs> That wasn't the first time I sent that message, nor the first time that I took a heavy loss. 2018, another huge loss, down on the year tremendously, down on commission and down on my overall position. All right. First of all, I'm not a rapper. 2019, same thing. Uh, well, I'll say this. 2017, not good. 2018, not good. 2019, that's when I started garnering some experiences. Some experience because I found a mentor uh, early on in college, and I'm a little bit lucky in that regard. But also, I don't want to seem that finding a mentor is purely luck because where you put yourself out there, you will find influential and successful people. You will find people that are oriented towards your field, people that are way ahead of you, people that are willing to teach you, surprisingly, and yeah, just an overall good environment. So even though I had a teacher, from 2017 till now, 
teacher, so to speak, I still performed really bad. I and mean, he would give me so much advice and he would give me a lot of guidance and how his training systems work. But still, I would not catch up on it. And I was like, let me do my own thing. Let me be very discretionary in my trades. And, you know, you need a system. Essentially, the point, everything that I'm alluding to, you need a system. And you need to understand the market from a very rational and very, very practical basis. Meaning that you can't read this stuff in books. Like, you can watch videos on it, but till you taste a loss, till you put money out there in the market, you won't really understand what's going on. So anyways, on that journey, I finally, when I hit 2019 and I started making a little bit of money, I thought that was it. I thought I was set, financially set. I can make money all the time. It's beautiful. The first half of the year, and then volatility struck during the summer. And then I gave all my profits and then some. And I hit a low point in my life. And I was doing bad in classes because of it. Um, but you know that, that two year journey of just losing and learning, I, I, I would not trade anything for it. I've had such harsh times in my life during that time and you know, I, I just felt like crap. I didn't feel worthy. I was wondering why all my friends were making money. Um, I have two, two good friends that are very successful in their respective fields and I was just like, how do they do it? And, and it comes down to this, how hard you work and how often you put yourself out there. I was, I'm a pretty shy guy and I have to put myself out there by forcing myself, similar with my other friend, but he did it earlier and he found an industry that was booming uh, pretty fast, so he was able to get there faster. And I told myself, hey, you cannot compare yourself to other people. Other people will achieve great success way before you, and that's fine. This is your individual journey. You are not going to achieve the one year success that you see on YouTube most of the time. And that's totally fine. If you outline your your business for, from a five to ten years standpoint, you are definitely going to achieve success, unless you're just doing stupid stuff like over leveraging or just I don't know, not learning from your mistakes. But yeah, five to ten years, more than achievable. And for most cases, it might even take less time than that. Well, I, I take back most cases, but. <laughs> And in certain cases, it will take less than that. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm starting to see profitability, and I'm starting to understand why my, my entries are different, my methodology is different, my position sizing is different. Uh, it's just transformed, and it kind of just clicked. And I was like, wow, like finally, I feel like I have control over my p &L. and My direct input is causing a positive growth in that, not a negative growth. So there's still a lot that I have to learn, but I will dive into that a little bit later. And now I just want to show you some of the trades that I've taken and how I've managed it despite this really difficult time. All right.